What's happening everybody? This is Wilson Jet from the Guided Missile with some tips and tricks on how to earn the Gold Assault Shield in Black Ops 2. Uh, you're going to be looking at some fun moments from my journey to Gold and eventually Diamond when using the Assault Shield. This was without a doubt the most fun that I've had playing Black Ops uh, so far. And honestly, it's not that hard to get the Assault Shield Gold. Getting it Diamond, uh, that's another story. The combat knife and the crossbow uh, can be pretty frustrating. But the Assault Shield is just a matter of putting in the time. That's really all that you need to do. It is going to take about 25 games, approximately, of dedicated use and 300 kills or so to finish uh, all three prestige and uh, complete all of the camouflage challenges. So first off, let's talk about loadout. What you're looking at here is some free-for-all gameplay. Uh, I found that this is without a doubt the best way to level up the Assault Shield. Playing free-for-all because everybody's running around crazy and what you're gonna wanna do is stun them and then run around behind them and bash the hell out of them. It's really that simple. And just like the combat knife, if you're gonna do this, you gotta do it right. Don't use any weapons. You can actually level up the assault shield and the combat knife simultaneously. You want to leave all those extra spots open for plenty of perks and grenades. All right. So this is the loadout that I use. Assault shield, no secondary, combat knife only. You're actually faster with the combat knife than you are the ballistic knife anyway. You don't need that ballistic knife slowing you down or taking up an extra spot. So assault shield in your primary, nothing in the secondary. In perk 1, you're going to use a wild card, select lightweight, and flak jacket. Flak jacket is going to make your life a whole lot easier as you're racking up all those assault shield kills because people are going to put down claymores and bouncing betties when they see you coming. They're going to be throwing Simtex at you, lobbing C4. You want to be the juggernaut. Just run right through that shit. Uh, in slot 2, uh, you are going to use... What are you going to use? Fast hands. You're going to use fast hands so that you can chuck your concussion grenades really quickly or when you get to the uh, tomahawk challenge you want to be able to move that shield aside and throw that tomahawk really fast so you're going to use fast hands in slot two in slot three you're going to use another wild card and you're going to choose extreme conditioning obviously and tack mask you don't want to stun yourself when you're throwing concussion grenades you also want to be able to run through other people's shock charges and the grenades that they're using to try to slow you down you know Basically, you, you just want to be a tank on wheels as you're, you're wielding your car door because uh, you're a massive target. When you've got that thing on your back, if you decide to run around with your knife to be a little bit quicker, that, that shield basically says, come and kill me. I have a massive car door on my back. Um, you know, it is kind of funny, but it makes you a huge target. So you want all of the defensive perks that you can manage. So flak jacket and tap, tack mask are a must. And then with your remaining two slots, you want two concussion grenades. Uh, you absolutely need the concussion grenades so that you can slow people down like you're watching me do right here. Now in that first section, I think I got a, a nice little streak uh, right here. This was uh, one of the free-for-all games that I played. You know, when you're using the assault shield, it's going to be bad for your stats. Yet if you're really, really concerned about your stats when playing Black Ops, this probably isn't for you. I mean, this is pure fun. It's the weapon of mass destruction. It is the ultimate trolling tool. Now, I did play a little bit of team deathmatch, and I want you to listen to this guy in the background. We had a huge whiner. I mean, he, he was speaking in falsetto the entire game, crying about everything. Uh, his, the way he was getting killed, uh, the guns he was using, you name it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not really fair for me to play team deathmatch when I'm running around with an assault shield because I'm not helping the team a whole lot. I realize that. I'm probably going to finish negative and hurt the team. But on this particular occasion, I was playing with my younger brother, P-Dub, and we were just having a laugh. Uh, so here in a second, listen to this guy. I mean, I, I think he had... Uh, he could probably benefit from someone to talk to. Let me just, let me just put it that way. Hey, he was uh, funny. And by funny, I mean... Schizo? I don't know. He, poor, I, the guy had some issues. I I really shouldn't say that about people, but um, yeah, he's going to get real upset with me here in a moment for not protecting him with my shield. And uh, I encouraged him to watch back the video and to see what I had actually done uh, right here. 
I see a guy. I stun him. I back him into a corner. And I bash the hell out of him. Now listen to this guy. We had a fucking riot shield. Why don't you just go in there first so we all don't fucking die? Huh? I don't even know what that means. I told him. I went in there and I killed the guy. What are you crying about? Yeah, backed up, then you killed him. There was one on the fucking Nord. Pay attention. Pay attention, he says. Okay. So anyway, the game progresses a little bit further. And uh, as luck would have it, I end up getting the final kill cam with my car door. Yeah, he, he, he kept coming up with all these crazy insults. You're going to get this a lot. That this is Honestly, this is the reason to use the assault shield. People lose their mind. I guess you're a sight and sore eyes. Yeah, man. They, they just, they go ape shit. Here's the kill cam. This was beautiful. <laughs> how you like, how you like that? So, anyway. You know, I, I really don't understand it, to tell you the truth, because if you're using the assault shield, people should be happy. Because... You're basically playing like an idiot. You're like, okay, I don't care about my stats. I don't particularly care about winning right now. I'm clearly using this thing either A, to be funny, or B, to complete the challenges. Because you're just a walking target. It is not difficult to kill someone with an assault shield. Throw some grenades at them, run around behind them, you know, shoot them in the back, shoot them in the feet. Uh, there are plenty of weapons that will shoot directly through the shield. Uh, the shotguns, the light machine guns at close range, any assault rifle at very close range, especially with full metal jacket, they all just obliterate the shield. So there's no reason for anybody to ever complain about using a shield. They should be happy. Hey, look at this dumbass with the shield. It's easy kills for them. So I just didn't understand it. Um, and yes, my KD did take a beating. So we talked about the loadout a little bit. How do you, how do you get the gold shield? What do you have to do? Uh, you know, like I said, it's not that hard. You only need 100 kills to get to the premium camouflage challenges 100 kills is not going to take you very long uh, you know six to eight games tops it takes about 100 kills per prestige so after the first prestige you can put your emblem or your message on there uh, after the second prestige your 200 kill you can put an awesome you know emblem on there and, and really you know pimp your shield out which is what i was looking forward to um, what you need to do to complete these premium challenges to get the carbon fiber you just have to block things, okay? And that's going to happen, naturally. You're, you're running around with a shield. People are going to shoot at it. That's kind of a dumb challenge. It's a piece of cake to get. So you have to get a 1,000 score from blocking uh, to get the Cherry Blossom and Art of War. Um, no, excuse me. To get Art of War and uh, Ronin, you have to... Um, man, I'm screwing this all up. Okay, Ronin, you play with no perks equipped. That, that was kind of hard. Um, Skulls is playing with uh, no weapons equipped. You're going to be doing that anyway. Um, so the, the Ronin is a little bit challenging because you're playing no perks. Skull's piece of cake because you're playing with a knife anyway. Um, Cherry Blossom is what you're watching me work on right here. That is tomahawking people while carrying a shield. Okay. And that's, again, that's just a matter of doing it and setting up people and finding yourself in the right situations. You only have to do it 25 times. It was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed watching this video back. And did I leave anything out? Art of War. Okay. To get the Art of War, you have to get 25 shield bash medals uh, while killing the player who is shooting at your shield. So basically that involves uh, trapping people in corners and up against walls and stuff like that. Uh, you, when they get into panic spray situations, and then you just finish them off. Uh, you know, throughout the course of getting your 300 kills to get the um, marksman uh, on the uh, shield, you're going to complete all of the challenges very easily. So, honestly, if you can stomach playing 25 rounds with the shield and just set the goal of 300 kills with the shield, you're going to complete everything. And you saw right there in that last segment, I got my final tomahawk kill, which was the last thing that I needed to get the shield gold and then I proceeded to do the other specials to get it diamond. And once it's diamond, you can do cool things like this. You can set your shield on top of cars. Monuments out in the open. Because you, you want everybody to see your shield, right? You can block your teammates. 
you know? You can say, hey man, check out my shield, isn't it awesome? And they really appreciate that when you stand in their way and you block their bullets and stuff. and Because they realize that, you know, they're playing with a, an expert, you know, major league gamer type guy. You can come up here, you can stick your shield right on top of this monument, you know? Because, hey look, oh man, that guy's got a diamond shield. I respect him so much. And they're, they're pleased to see that. And it just makes everybody happy. And, um, you know, if you find a sniper laying out in the open, you can come over, you can drop your shield right on his back, and then you can shoot him in the butt with your knife. That can be fun. That's, that's a pro move. Be careful with that one. Kids, you might not want to attempt that one. That one takes some practice. Um, another thing that you can do, you can use your shield as a distraction. All those diamonds and gold, I mean, people are just drawn to it. It is like moths to the flame, man. I just set that thing right out in the open and run away, run away. You just, and you go back here and you back rage everybody. Look, look, they're all running to the shield. They got to get a closer look. They're like, look at it. They're mesmerized. And then you just come up and you're like, Wah! it's amazing. So honestly, I think everybody needs a diamond shield with a big Elmo on the front or something like that. You know, the emblem of your choice. Sometime you just got to, you got to give your shield some hugs. Be careful if you knock it over though. For some reason, if you knock over your shield, you can't pick it back up. It just disappears. So, that's frustrating. Or you can just go old school, and you can pick the best player on the other team, and you can stun the hell out of him, and then, you know, bash him in the back of the head with your car door. So, that's it. That's the Diamond Assault Shield. You know, and ultimately, what you're going to want to do is celebrate. Once you do this, you're going to want to find yourself in the Luna Lounge and celebrate and have a dance party. You put your shield up on top of the bar like that, you just get down. That's what it's all about right here. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was somewhat informative. Have fun trying to get your diamond assault shield. I can't wait to see uh, a free-for-all game where there are eight people using assault shields. I think that would be awesome. So, till next time, this is Will Send It. Later.